All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the latest global producers letter, uh, this time in the form of a video featuring everyone's favorite producer, uh, Koto. And uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So of course she says, I'm Koto, producer of the international version or global version of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle. And then she asks us if we are enjoying the Aim for the Top Dokkan campaign. And honestly, it's been okay. It's been okay. Um, not the best, not the worst, just decent, I would say. And then after that, she talks about how uh, the new Goku has the first standby skill on Global. And then goes into this very long explanation about uh, how standby skills work, what exactly they are. Of course, if you guys have been following the JP side at all, then you've already known about standby skills for a while. So we don't really need to go into too much detail uh, about this section. But yeah, basically she just does a rundown of uh, you know what standby skills are and then uses it as a segue into the eighth anniversary LRs, which of course also have standby skills. So uh, she gives us a little preview now of the eighth anniversary units, which as we all know, are these guys right here. Uh, boom, okay, so we got the uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta from the Buu Saga. And then we also have, uh, they show the other one, yeah, there we go. So we also have the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and uh, GT Goku from, of course, Dragon Ball GT. So uh, if you guys, haven't followed JP at all, and you don't know what's going on on that side, then surprise, this is your first time seeing the 8th anniversary LRs. Uh, maybe I should have given you like a spoiler warning, but I just feel like it's common knowledge at this point. But uh, yeah, she gives us a preview of the 8th anniversary LRs, which is, I feel like, a little bit premature just because uh we're still over a month away it's honestly like a month and a half plus away um if we're talking about the release of the actual lrs uh generally speaking it's the first slash second week of july um i believe the ui goku and uh, ssb vegeta dropped on july 9th so we still got some time we still got like uh i guess seven weeks to go so yeah it does seem premature and speaking of premature uh we're getting a countdown campaign to the uh eighth anniversary starting in like a week from now in six days actually we got the eighth anniversary countdown rapid growth special missions um which just seems super early and what's even weirder is that she says the actual countdown will start at the end of June. Um, yeah, it says right here, the actual countdown uh, events of the 8th anniversary will start in June. So this is actually a countdown to the countdown to the 8th anniversary, which is kind of interesting. But uh, we are able to get a lot of dragon stones from this, which is exciting. Uh, basically, she's saying... Um, through these missions, we can get these badges, and then we can use the badges to exchange for dragon stones in the Baba Shop. And you can get up to 60 dragon stones in total if you collect all the badges, which of course I recommend that all of you guys do, right? Because that's a lot of stones for free. So definitely do the missions. I'm not complaining about the existence of these missions. I'm just saying it feels very early, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, but yeah, anyways. Uh, it's the countdown to the countdown, and we also have these missions starting on the 31st of May, which is in about two weeks from now. And uh, we'll be able to get up to 88th anniversary summon tickets for the uh, 8th anniversary ticket banner. Not the guaranteed LR one, just the regular anniversary banner we get every year, like the ticket banner. And uh, yeah, you can get up to 80 tickets, which of course is significant, so uh, obviously do those uh, as much as you can. And uh, aside from that, let me see. 
uh, yeah, she's just saying, you know, there's more events coming up, check the in-game news, and stay tuned for more information. So, uh, that basically does it. Shout out to Takoto for, of course, um, making the video for informing us of all of this stuff that, uh, we mostly knew about, but nonetheless, I like these. And I said from the beginning, you know, even if it's like information that a lot of people already knew about, there are still people out there who don't follow everything intensely, so... It's kind of cool that, um, you know, they're putting in the extra effort to communicate with the community. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to say, guys. Um, that was the producer's letter. Let me know in the comments if you guys found it interesting or useful. And, uh, of course, I mean, I would ask if you're excited for the 8th anniversary, but you gotta be. You gotta be. I mean, what else is there to be excited for if not the anniversary in gacha games? So... Uh, that's basically all there is to cover. That is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.